Welcome to this Wednesday's Three Good Minutes. Lane Alderman, in a piece called Asking All the Right Questions, told the story about a theology professor named Dr. Tom Long, who said that while he was at Princeton, he went to a nearby Pres Presbyterian church that prided itself on being an academic intellectual church. Early on, Dr. Long said he went to a family night supper and sat down next to a man, introduced himself, told him he was new and said, have you been here long? Oh yes, the man said. In fact, I was here before this church became a scholarly church. Why, I'm probably the only non-intellectual left. I haven't understood a sermon in over 25 years. Then why do you keep coming, Tom asked because every Monday night a group of us get in the church van and drive over to the Youth Correctional Center. Sometimes we play basketball or play games. Usually we share a Bible story, but mostly we just get to know these kids and listen to them. I started going because Christians are supposed to do those kinds of things, but now I could never stop. Sharing the love of God at that youth center has changed my life. And then the man made this profound statement, you cannot prove the promises of God in advance, but if you live them, they're true, everyone. It seems to me that this non-academic man intuited the very heart of Christianity, that our faith is one that is lived. Even when heavily nuanced sermons aren't understood, even when we can't prove anything about our beliefs, our faith is evidenced by our actions. As I read about this small church supper exchange, I thought about the saints in our own church who quietly go about doing such good in the world. My colleague and co-pastor Dick Wing, who's passionate about his Monday night prison ministry, our longtime moderator and videographer Brent Jensen, who has taken prisoners and former prisoners under his wing, one of our former music directors, Beverly Fletcher, who cares for prisoners and former prisoners, along with Brent, the Bys, who spent their Thanksgiving serving a meal at the Salvation Army, our council members who run the Christmas angel tree so that local families have an abundant Christmas, and so many others who each and every day truly live out their faith. Folks far and wide simply come to know that they are Christians by their love. During the season of Lent, may we remember to share God's love with all who cross our paths and then perhaps blaze some new paths to those who still need to be reached. May it be so. Amen.